What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own server. It's easier than you might think. It only takes a couple of minutes and I'm going to walk you through it. So to start off with, go ahead and go to this URL. I'll put a link in the description so you can just click on that link. It'll be the first link. And so just click on it and you'll, you should come to this page. So now go ahead and click this Minecraft server dot 1.12.2.jar and I already have it downloaded so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel it but you're you should just download it and so once you have it downloaded go ahead and drag it onto the desktop and now you're gonna want to create a server folder the reason why you want to do this is because otherwise you're gonna have files scattered all throughout your desktop and you don't want to do that so go ahead and open up the server folder and drag this in now double click it and it should create three files it should create one called logs um, and one called server and one called EULA. So you need to click on this EULA because currently it doesn't have all the files it needs. So go ahead and click on the EULA and change this from false to true. You're just accepting their terms and conditions. You can go to here if you want to read them. So just press save once you're done. And then now double click it again and it should actually open and create several more files. So, as you can see, it'll open up and it will create all these files. So, you don't actually need to have this running yet. You don't want to have it running yet because you want to customize some of this stuff. So, right here you have banned IPs. Um, this is banned players. This just has the list of all the banned people. This is the actual world file. You can replace it with a different one if you want to use a specific world. Then these are people who are opt who can use commands basically um, besides the basic ones and then this is the server properties which I'll get to in just a second then you have user cache which I think might just be all the people that enter your server and then this whitelist if you choose to have a whitelisted server um, all the people on the whitelist are the only people that can enter the server so I'm gonna go and go into this server folder and as you can see there's a whole bunch of things here the most important thing to change is go ahead and go to this server IP thing. This is the thing you have to change to be able to get your server to work. So to figure out what to put in here, go ahead and type in CMD and hit enter. And then type in IP config, no spaces or caps, like this, and then hit enter. Now I'm going to be blurring this out, but there should be something called IPv4 address right about here. Okay, so just look at the number that's at the end of that, and that's the number you want to type into here. So, go ahead and go into server IP and type it in. So, I'm going to go and type in mine. Yours won't be the same, obviously, but yeah, I'm just going to blur this out so you don't see what my IP address is. But So, just go and type in your IP v4 address right here. It's very important or else other people won't be able to join, and I don't think you'll be able to join either. Now, so there's all kinds of other properties. You can select which game mode they start in. You can select if you want to use command blocks, the max players. Um, this is the thing that will appear, I think, if you if they actually add it to one of their servers. So I'm just going to change this, and I can show you what it does later. So let's change it to my Minecraft server. And now, once you're all done with that, you can close it and hit save. And now you're ready to open up. So go ahead and double click this. And as long as you have this program running, which should appear in just a second. There it is. So as long as you have this running, the server will be open. If you close it, it'll immediately shut down the server. So I can go and close Google Chrome now. And so, yeah. Now I'm going to go into Minecraft and show you how it works. So to access the server, you need to type in your IP address and anyone who wants to access it can type in your IP address. You don't need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection as someone else to access their server. So this is really good if you want to play with friends that are like, and you don't want to have to actually go to their house. Um, in a previous video, I showed you how to do it if you are on the same Wi-Fi connection and it's a bit easier. But if you're not, then you can create a server to play with them. So go ahead and type in your IP v4 address same one you typed in before and click join server now if, I, if you did this right it should say logging in and then it should actually log in to the server and 
you can see it's generating the world around me. Um, it's going to take a second to load. It's a bit laggy right now. So, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit laggy, but now you have your very own server, and other people can join the server too. Now, as you can see, I'm in survival mode, so if you want to actually be able to use commands and stuff, you have to actually go to this and type op or op and then your name and it'll say opt and then your name and then from here you can use commands like game mode hold on oops um like that and then now i'm in creative mode so yeah so if you found this video useful be sure to give it a like and i will see you guys next time <laughs>